What's a good word, Vargas? Well, it looks like what we have here is a psychopathic vigilante nun armed with a 12-gauge shotgun on a savage murder spree. Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, I checked out None of That. And this movie also has a secondary title, and it's called Sister Wrath. That's actually how I found it on Tubi. So if you're over there looking for it, it is under Sister Wrath. And this 2020, sorry, 20, sorry, 2008 film was directed by Richard Griffin and stars Sarah Nicklin. The story of this movie follows this nun with anger issues, and she is sent away to join this other group of nuns that, you know, also fights crime. However, along the way, she dies and goes to heaven and meets Jesus. And Jesus says to her, you know, sister, I have a special mission for you back on Earth. You have to go back and fight the mob. And so she is sent back to Earth, teams up with other nuns, and fights the mob. But what will happen exactly? Well, you have to watch the movie and find out. All right, so let's discuss this movie. Well, this is a nunsploitation movie, so it's about this nun, and they kind of exploit that concept. And it's this nun, and they give her guns, so this, you know, nun with a gun, and she's going around shooting everyone. And that's very exploitative of, of kind of that concept, I would say. And, I don't know, it's a lot of fun that way. They also exploit kind of that religious aspect to it as well. And so all of that's in there. It, I don't know, it, it gives it a certain fun quality to it. You've never seen anything like this. And even with Jesus, Jesus shows up. There's a bunch of characters that show up as well, but Jesus shows up and you'll never believe it, but he actually has a musical number. It's heavily auto-tuned, but man, I was blown away when I saw it. Sister, sister, temptation, resistor. Now you're here with me, your sanctity is higher and glad. My sympathetic ascetics, you're also one of... Other than that, I would say the action is pretty good. I definitely enjoyed seeing this nun with a gun, you know, just blow people away. And they have lots of bullets to fire for sure. With the bullets though, they do have that B-movie quality where you actually never see the bullets hit anyone. You know, you see them fire, but then they'll just be like a bullet hole on them. They'll just like fall over. And that's like perfectly fine for someone like me who, you know, loves that B-movie quality. So yeah, I would say the action is good. Also, this movie is listed as a comedy. And so on this channel, we always say... You know, comedy is subjective. And I think this is pretty subjective comedy as well. I would say I probably laughed at like 30 to 40% of the jokes. And so maybe I can clip in here one for you. Still made it home on time for an evening bris. Viper, say hello to the boys. Shalom, scumbags. And so I thought that one was funny, but of course not all of them. That's for sure. I think with the comedy itself you know it is like an exploitation film so i think kind of they have that religion exploitation and they have kind of the, the joke is that it's religious like it's funny because it's a nun it's funny because it's jesus and that type of stuff as well so yeah it's definitely subjective comedy i think i know who would really like this i checked out some reviews and it was like 10 out of 10 like funniest thing ever laugh riot and I think if you are like anti-woke or against woke, whatever that means to you, then yeah, you would probably find this really funny. Um, for me, again, 40 to 30 percent, so it is subjective. But if that sounds like something you would love, then yeah, check it out. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this film. Well, I think there should be a trigger warning on this film because it takes quite a few things too far and has quite a few offensive things as well. They have kind of like some sex crimes in there. And I actually heard like... There's another movie called, what's it called? It's like New Nuns with Big Guns. And I think that one's like kind of the sex crime fantasy in the end, or at least that's the impression I get from watching some reviews. This one, I think there's only like two or three sex crimes in there. But again, it is in there and that is something that bothers you, then don't watch this one. Other than that, I think there are jokes that they take way too far. They have this Jewish character who is an assassin, and that's perfectly fine when, you know, they're doing, like, puns and stuff with him being Jewish. However, I do think they take it a little bit too far to be kind of anti-Semitic in the end. Also, they have Gandhi show up, and they take that a little bit too far to be, like, a racist caricature of the guy as well. And of course, you know, Jesus, Satan, all of the, the religious aspect of it if that's not your thing then you won't like it as well so yeah this movie should have a trigger warning other than that i thought all of the characters were very one note 
it made it kind of for this flat viewing experience, at least for me, where I knew what characters were going to say before they say it and that type of stuff and, you know, how their personalities work and whatnot. I know it's like an exploitation movie where they're exploiting the stereotypes and that's fine and good if that's what you're going for. Um, again, it does have that, you know, it's exploiting everything, really. So this movie is for some people, but not for the easily offended. And if I was to find a silver lining to this movie, it's that Tubi would never have any commercials for this one. It's very not commercial friendly, so or not advertisement friendly. So yeah, watch it uninterrupted, I guess. So who would I recommend this movie for? Well, if you're looking for a grindhouse comedy movie and you're not easily offended, then yeah, totally check this one out. As for rating, I gotta give it the mildly interesting score of 3.4. And with that being said, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.